here at the end of Science in the Rockies, and this is Steve Spangler. You made it through. I made it through. I graduated. Look at this. This I place even is a mess, shirt. right? I mean, look, look at all this stuff. Great fun. Um, but we've been learning about some really fun stuff and stuff that I wanted to show you guys, but probably wouldn't have the funds to do. So, uh, Mr. Spangler has been very, very kind to let us do this. And well, you got to have toys, right? I mean, uh, if you don't have toys, now you know what we were talking about at Science in the Rockies is that he who has the most toys does not win at the end of exactly the teaching career, right? right? Exactly. Uh, right. It really is kind of what you're able to do with them, and and we had a session on density. We right? did. So we can talk about solids, liquids, gases, but the air that we breathe is, uh, we use that as the medium point there, and exactly. so you hear our voices, so we just wanted to change the air that we breathe. So, so which one do you want to start with? Something that's lighter than air, and something that's right. heavier than air. So, so let's start dense, with lighter, more dense. Right? Remember guys, density is how tightly packed those particles are together. So the gases, they still have those particles zooming around, flying around, they're high energy. But this one is a lot less tightly packed, this is more tightly packed. And this is fun, alright? Alright, bet you can guess what this is. I bet you can guess without a problem at all. We're just kind of holding it here like this at the very end. Even without tying it off, you probably know what this is. It's just kind of floating up, so we definitely know that this is lighter than air. It's less dense than air. All right. And in a controlled kind of situation, I want you to breathe it. Is that okay? Uh, all right. I, I think I can do that. All right. So you're going to breathe all your air out, and then you're going to breathe this in, and then you get to talk to everybody. Okay. But this is not going to give me an aneurysm. It's not going to poison me, right? No, no but the the only, in this kind of thing, yeah. The only dangerous fine. thing is if I don't breathe it out, I don't get enough oxygen in my brain. Correct. That would be bad. In a way, in, yes, and what would okay. be really, really bad is if somebody just sat there and breathed helium and out and in and out, and, and you really could asphyxiate yourself, so yeah. you don't want to asphyxiate yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's see if y'all can figure out what this is. You ready? Okay. Blow out and breathe in. So this is about six times lighter than air, right? Yeah, and exactly. as it's passing <laughs> past my vocal cords, it changes the pitch. I love that. I gotta, no, I'm gonna it's, save it, my. Hey, I'm getting a little lightheaded. But notice how it's kind of it's wearing off because I'm breathing in that air that I'm breathing in is a lot heavier. It wants to sink to the bottom of my lungs, and that other the helium that I just breathed in wants to come back up and out. And so now I'm normal. I'm okay. Didn't get dizzy. It's all good. It's all good. Six times lighter than the air we breathe. So we were thinking, what if you had a gas that was six times heavier than the air that you could breathe? So and those so particles are really tight. Tight, tight. Yeah. Very and dense. see if you could see anything that would be packed. different with it. So this particular material that's right here, if you can get a shot right in there, this this is sulfur hexafluoride, uh, chemical formula SF6. So sounds scary. It sounds scary. It's it's not toxic, and in fact, they actually use it in the medical field, the veterinary field, for uh, welding. For uh, for um, yes, yeah, so they don't want an arc between in the electrical, mm. like a high voltage kind of area. So they gotcha. don't want to. Arc, so they'll put a room filled with SF6. All right. So in small little quantities, we uh, we should have some fun with it like this. So go ahead and put that on top. Good. Right. And now fill it up. There we go. It sounds different. Good. And now, watch when you hold it up like this. I'll try my piece as well. Whoa, look, the other balloon is standing up like this. This one's kind of falling down. All right, so this one here, look at this one. It's, oh, it's see how it falls down? Air. Yeah. Six times heavier than the air that we breathe. So, so a lot means, more tightly packed. Yep. And in our lungs, if you exhale and inhale, all of that air is going to go in your lungs. Mm -hmm. But the molecules are going to be a little bit uh, deep. Or well, it's going to make your voice a little bit deeper. Change the pitch they, again. Exactly right. Harder for those molecules to come out. So we might hear a, a pitch change. Ready? Okay. All right, so here we go. Breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Now talk to us. And you. that's the sulfur hexafluoride. That's crazy. Is that's it? Is it fun? Is that fun? All right, here we go. Like I've been doing steroids for forever. Look, I am your father. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that is quite <laughs> weird. All right, ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, we can't, we can't waste it. No, I know. Mm. Breathe in one more time. Breathe out. Oh, you can already hear the change, can't you? Are yeah. you back to normal? Yeah, I'm back to normal. Okay, one more time. Ready? Right. Ready? You know what would be so fun is to take a bunch of these to the mall and go talk to perfect strangers. I think it would be great and you could record your voice. I, uh, <laughs> what, what, what a great <laughs> way to be able to do this. You've yeah. got to finish up the podcast it's just a, like it's this. A, it makes me a little bit dizzy. It's part know, of the, one of the, one of the things with this gas is you've got to really in. blow it out because it wants to settle because it's so dense. It wants to settle at the bottom of your lungs. It's taking up space that oxygen normally takes up. Blackout, pass out, die. That would be bad. Don't want to do that. So, 
big in. So if you enjoyed this, this was great fun, but you know what? There's a website that has tons of videos, tons of fun stuff that you can try at home. SteveSpanglishScience.com. Absolutely. Go there. You can see every, every kind of cool thing you've ever wanted to see. Stuff exploding, all kinds of cool stuff. So science rocks. Thank you. That was fun. That was a little brief. I feel good now.